So welcome back to the Trembi channel and in this video we'll be taking you through how to use Trembi's marketing automation platform. Keep in mind that this is a simple platform that is intended not only for your marketing automation but as well as your sales automation. So both of them are available and in this video I'm going to take you through how to use each and every one of those components. So let's get started. So first things first, to access the platform, all you have to do is go to app.trembi.com. That's app.trembi.com. So once you log in and have an active subscription running, then all you have to do is go to automations right here. If you don't have any existing automations, this will be blank. But as you can see, I have quite a number of automations that have been running over time. Now, our automations are broken down into two kinds of automations automation type to access these they are all you have to do is go to click create new and there are two kinds of automations one is the basic automations these are dependent on contacts who are already in your database contacts who you've already been marketing to or contacts who you've already been selling to and all you want to do is keep marketing to these people then contact type number two uh, the marketing automation type number two is where you want to leverage on the Trembi AI to go ahead and look for leads on your behalf. And once it gets these leads for you, it engages them as well. So I will take you through each and every one of these uh, so that you get to understand how it, both of them work. So to get us started, I'll start with automation type number one, which is you already have your existing database of contacts and all you want to do is send them WhatsApps, emails, SMSs, and whatever information. So all you have to do is click start, start now. Uh, we can give it a name as an example, test, one, two, three, four. The description as well, this is for your internal purposes. If you want contacts to enter these automations more than once, you can check right here. Uh, or if you want to trigger these automations to only the even the people already on the list, you can add, mark that from right here. Then step number two is you click start automating. Now, once you get to the next page, the first question it will ask you that give me the list of people you want me to trigger this automation too. I already have some lists active, but uh, you could as well create one from right here. But look at a list more or less as a segmentation of customers. Not all your communications go to all your customers. As an example, we have customers who are from South Africa, we have customers who are from Kenya, we have customers who are from Nigeria and Uganda. So I'm, I may want to send information specific to the customers in South Africa. Or you may have different products. So you have product number one and product number two and product number three. Say, so now people who are using product number one may be receiving different information from people who are uh, using product number two. And this just allows you to create that segmentation for your customers. So for this case, I, I'm going to use this as an example. Maybe I want to send communication out exclusively to the South African customers. So once I select that list, as you can see, the next th thing is what they are called uh, available actions. These available actions are things like I want to send an SMS. I can as well add things like hashtag square brackets name that allows for customization then type out whatever message it is so this is a test message um i could also add whatsapps uh, i could also send a whatsapp maybe let me i just let the whatsapp say the same message and emails as well emails are available right here so you can just select and keep in mind that for the emails you have to choose your verified sender then you have to add the subject sample subject then the body and you can add step now after you've added what whatever uh, actions you'd want we at the, at the moment we have only one type of condition which is called the delay 
you can say maybe after i have sent out this sms and this whatsapp i want to wait a period of seven days then after those seven days i want to send another set of messages maybe i want to send another sms saying following up i'm just using these sample messages but this could be literally anything you want to say following up in the near future we're adding some more conditions the other conditions could are going to be things like in the scenario that someone has clicked your email or in the scenario that someone has opened that email so if for those of you watching this video in the future expect that this is going to have several changes that work along with this uh, so yes uh, just expect that so in case you see these are different in the future expect that now what this means is once i add this person to this list the first thing you're going to do is send them an sms and here is what the sms should say then after that send them a whatsapp and here is what that whatsapp should say after that send them an email and here is what that email should say then wait for a period of seven days and after and after those seven days send another follow-up sms you can make this as long as you want it's really up to you i'm just using a seven day as the delay but that could be any period it could be a wait for seven hours and then send the next communication or it's wait for a month and after that one month do take this next action send this whatsapp so for those of you that watch this in the future many of these things would have been improved because you're going to add the linkedin or adding reddit so you'll find a lot more channels that will be available now once you're done setting up all these automations all you have to do is just click activate the button activate is right here and the moment you click activate automatically the system begins sending out messages to the people that are already on the list and for those that are not on the list you could as well come maybe someone might come in the future and all you have to do is select that person and add them to that list automatically it would now trigger automations to that person the use cases for this as an example for us we have many people that sign up on a daily so we need to send information to them so all we do is initially add those people to our list and automatically uh, automatically the system would know when to send them the relevant confirmation information after they have signed up so that is uh, automation type number one now automation type number two is uh, look at it more or less as your a sales automation say i want the ai to look for people in the manufacturing space for me i'm just using manufacturing as an example but this could be the health health space this could be literally anything i'm looking for people in we have about five criteria number one is company information so help me get ceos of manufacturing companies number two is uh, gender meaning i want to get women who because i have a product that i'm selling to them number three is um and number three is location data i want you to get people that are located in nairobi or people that are in kampala or people that are in um, certain regions within kampala say chira or wakiso so you can get as specific as that and what that what this would do is the ai would help you triangulate and pick for you different people's information but for this case i'm just showing you how to set it up now uh after you've given it a name step number two they are what they call filters this this is now where you kind of guide the ai on who it should be looking for as an example i'm looking for manufacturing this is just for test purposes i you could even get as specific as i want in those manufacturing companies i want people whose job title is ceo but that is honestly up to you um, then number three you could even select gender that as you're looking for these people only get me men and number four you could even I ask the AI to get you people who are interested. As an example, if you are selling video games, literally say, I want people who are interested in video games. All these filters are optional. I'm just, for this case, I'm just using manufacturing, but I'm kind of giving you the context of what you can select. Don't forget to select the country because 
you may it may pick for you leads from countries that may not make sense to you now after you've given the ai criteria then you go to the final step which is adding the messages just like we did for the first kind of automation i can add the message hi i wanted to introduce what our company does this is what we do what we do and how we do it add add the messages uh you could also add whatsapps as well so go ahead and add the message the high name just picks the person's name type out whatever message it is you want to send uh you get emails as well just like the first messages you can also add delays maybe wait for seven days and after those seven days follow up that's if the person hasn't uh, responded back eh? maybe send another whatsapp and this whatsapp should say this message oh i'm following up i'm i'm just typing randomly but you could literally craft up whatever messaging it is you want to send to send to these uh, to these people and it will go ahead and send it following up so once you're done setting up keep in mind you can set the first messages set the first second set the third but understand that here it's the ai that is looking for new leads on your behalf so in order to get the best chance of success i would recommend you add about seven eight messages first because once the person receives your first message they don't know you the likelihood of them just coming and giving you their money it's like me finding someone along the road and automatically just telling them that here is what i do now give me money it doesn't happen that way so understand that you have to kind of replicate what your selling experience could would have been so talk to the person give them a reason as to why they want to continue engaging with you sometimes give them freebies sometimes give them helpful information show them who else is trusting you what this does for you is it helps this person learn who you are even without necessarily uh, even when it's the ai that has picked their information for you so once you're done picking adding whatever messages the same process active all you do is click activate once you click activate you give it about a minute or two it will automatically begin to pick for you people's information just like how these contacts are here and within my contacts database it will pick their contact information and number two go ahead and even begin to message them just like how your sales person would have been sitting there looking for contacts for you and messaging and sending message after message and following up is the exact same experience that this does for you it look at it more or less as automating the whole sales experience for you and that is the difference between this and any other automation platform the role of this is just to ease your selling experience from getting the leads to engaging them the first time to following up and following up over and over again this is what this does for you and it does it so effortlessly so in a nutshell those are the two kinds of automations that we have and all of them are available right here under automation and for any leads that you would want to add they're added right here into the contacts so at the moment that is what is available as of uh, august of 2020-24 but we keep updating and improving this so anything else you find in the future will still make a subsequent video so don't forget to follow this channel just to keep up to date with what new additions we have added but bye-bye for now